Okay, everybody. Let's test the difference between having rebar or above 4G encoding um, enable and without it. If you don't know, that's to allow the GPU to be able to use the whole range of the of the memory. Okay. Now, what's the difference between both of them? As far as I'm concerned, above 4G is basically the same thing as rebar. It's that for some reason Nvidia had a um, they they put a limitation in regards to um the the 4G. I'm guessing regarding 32-bit support. So it doesn't wouldn't create a problem with the games, um, but that's why you got motherboards with a board 4G encoding support there and and rebar. So right now we're testing it um, with rebar, and I just want to show you the FPS value so you can get an idea. Okay, so we're having 60 something here. This is 1080. But again, I want you to actually see the average that we're getting there. Okay, so around 65 to 70. Okay. Do another die. Okay. So let's keep on going here. And that's the last one. So again, you got the idea. 60, I saw 64 there, but basically the average between 67 and and 70. Why, why is it that every time I say the average of something, it goes down? Anyway, you, you, you got the, the gist. Uh, let's go here and let's double check that we're using rebar. Okay, so let's click here and get, there it is. Sizable bar, yes. Okay, now let's continue without rebar so we can check out the, the video. Okay, I just rebooted and we're gonna be testing without rebar. And how do you know if you have an NVIDIA card or not using rebar? Because, because it doesn't show here, that's it. So rebar is applicable for NVIDIA cards only as I assume here. And above 4G encoding is for everybody else. They, they do the same thing, okay, to give access, total access to, to the GPU in regards to the memory utilization. Um, but uh, for NVIDIA cards, you can see there's no rebar. It doesn't say rebar. Yes, whatever. So let's test the game out. Mm -hmm. And let's see the, the performance, okay? On both cases, just in case I'm limiting the CPU, 50% there. But it doesn't affect me at 1080. It affects me at uh, 4K. So let's go here. And let's double check the same thing, the same FPS value that we saw previously, which was around uh, 70. Okay. So here we're going to be playing around. It's the same thing. And let's see how it either improves or degrades the performance. And immediately you can see that things went south. So without rebar, uh, at least for the 4090, well, 4090, and I'm pretty sure it, all the models on the 3000 and 4000 are going to get the, basically the same effect here. Um, they're going to lose a little bit. It's hard for me to actually get it to 70. Now, there, it jumped there. But it actually drops a lot. Well, not a lot, but you know, you're, you're losing three, four, five. It gets to a point that you lose around five FPS. And that's it. I'm guessing the more intensive and the more resolution that I have or something like that, you'll have a, a bigger impact there. Are you losing a lot? No, just a little bit. Okay, here we're losing almost 10 FPS. That's that's basically it. It comes back. It doesn't stay on 70 most of the time. Uh, like we had it with rebar enable. But you get the idea, okay? So rebar on 
was the first part. This is rebar off. And you can see the, the impact. So it, yeah, it degrades the performance a little bit to the degree of around five, from one FPS to around five, maybe a little bit more. And that's about it. So recommendations, if you have an NVIDIA 3000 or 4000, uh, leave it on. Leave it on so you have a better um, FPS performance. That's it. So hope the video helps. Big hugs to everybody and think positive as always.